Hey everybody, Aaron from bushhoggingservices.com and Otter Creek Farm on social media. Uh, I was on my way up north today. Uh, had to stop by a customer's location. She was a customer in the past. I don't think she's going to be a customer going forward. And I'll talk about my mistake and hopefully it's something that you can learn from. Uh, I, I catch myself doing this a little bit more than I would like to. You know, I get excited and, and think I'm on top of something sometimes and I realize, whoops, you know, hey, I sh shouldn't have quite, uh, should have spoken quite so soon. In this case, this customer has about uh, almost four acres of commercial property in the Ocala area. And uh, the first time she came to us, uh, I believe we charged her about $4,900 um, to get the work done. And I'm using uh, my, you know, my local uh, contractor that we do quite a bit of business with so uh, um, you know I'm, I'm subbing that part out but I'm still doing the sales marketing all the communication I'm responsible for collecting the money and I pay him regardless of whether I get paid so I I have all that risk so you know my time and uh, risk and everything else is what I get paid for in some of these situations that I subcontract so anyway got the job done it was a jungle uh, last year when it was done and uh, shortly after it was done, I was thinking that I would be able to come back and maintain it with a zero turn mower. So I gave her about a $2,300 price to maintain it going forward. Well, she held on to that email. When I got back to her this year, um, you know, I told her, hey, it was actually going to be almost double that because it had grown back to basically what it was before. You know, some of the, the wood and stuff had been moved and, and things like that. So it was going to go a little bit quicker than it was uh, originally. But I also looked and saw huge limbs that had broken off the trees since last year. And it was going to be a lot of work. So she was saying, hey, uh, you know, you need to honor your price from last year. And I'm like, hey, you know, that's not doable anymore. Everything has gone up in price. I mean, I went to McDonald's this morning and got two sausage burritos, a hash brown, and a small Coke and it was ten dollars you know and i only could eat one burrito i just couldn't take the taste anymore so i only ate one burrito so for ten dollars i had a six inch burrito a hash brown and a small diet coke you know so pricing is completely out of whack from where it was you know back then and i told her i said you know if i could do it with a zero turn mower you know i, I would honor the price but i can't so you know, I drove by this morning just to make sure that you know, my perspective on everything was correct. And it looks like the day we started last year. I mean, literally there were saplings and uh, weeds that were 12 feet tall. So, uh, you know, it's going to take a bush hog and she's got a lot of trees and the trees really slow all of the cutting down. It really is problematic for a bush hog to cut around a tree or when there's a cluster of trees to get in between all those trees. It just takes a huge amount of time. As you know, if you're watching this video, you're probably well aware of all that. So, um, you know, I told her, I'll give you a discount. Uh, I, you know, I was going to originally quote her $3,900 just so you know. Uh, I said, hey, you know, I felt bad. I'll take $500 off that and we'll do it for that. But I, you know, I'm not going to do it for less. And that's why I went back out today to make sure that I was a, not losing a ton of money and then B also it was a fair price for the job and she's like absolutely not if you're gonna honor it I'll give it to you so after going by today the outcome was that upon review my 3400 price is good for five days after that it goes back to 3900 and then annually it's gonna be 4500 and that's the price, you know. Um, I said, you need to call around and get three quotes. You need to understand um, that what the price I'm giving you is a fair deal and uh, perhaps even a really good deal. Uh, I know the job I did last weekend, I did for 3,500 bucks because I had the big mower again and uh, he was getting quotes up to $5,000. So, you know, even though I usually am the top of the line top tier of the pricing it hasn't been that way in a couple jobs but I've been able to do them effectively because I have a bigger mower so you know in this case it's just gonna be a lot of work for my, my subcontractor and the amount of time I'm wasting with her trying to negotiate this is 
you know, basically billable at the end of the day. So, um, you know, instead of coming down off of my discounted price, which I think she was hoping I was going to do, I actually stuck to my guns, gave her a time frame deadline, and uh, showed her the price is going to go up if she doesn't accept it, which is, she can take it or leave it. You know, I'm not doing work for a loss or break even. That's not how you run a business. It's better to not do it at all because you might have something else that you could do during that time frame. And, um, you know, uh, when she gets uh, a city violation and she comes back, you know, if she, if she waits past the, the, the time frames, it is what it is, you know. And I think she's just, honestly, I think she's being a little bit lazy and not wanting to make some phone calls. Or she has made some phone calls and got some really high prices and she's not communicating that. Uh, so she is trying to, you know, get the, the you know, the, the really discounted price which just isn't doable. The other thing about uh, this situation is she knows the contractor that I used last year, who I am also using again this year if we get the job, and she has contacted uh, my contractor directly, offering to give him the work and cut me out of the deal. Uh, fortunately, I generate enough revenue for my contractor that that is a very, very bad and expensive decision on his part, if he tried to do something like that, because I, I mean, we're doing a, you know, a very expensive job in the next uh, two weeks, which I would pull him off of immediately and find somebody else to do, and I wouldn't bring him any new business. So he's got no incentive to do one job for a couple thousand dollars and avoid all of the other opportunities that I bring to the table through my sales and marketing, right, and my expertise. You know, at this point, I've been doing a lot of those jobs, and I can price jobs well, um, you know, by eyeballing it and getting it right. So I, you know, I really bring him good business uh, and profitable business. I don't beat him up and get 50% off retail rates and things like that. I want him to be motivated to work with me uh, in partnering uh, on specific jobs. You know, in some places we're going to compete, right? It is what it is. He's got an excavator. He's a wizard with that thing. He's a wizard with a skid steer. Um, I'm going to have an excavator. I'm not a wizard with it. I'm more into land clearing and brush hogging. So, you know, we overlap a little bit, but for the most part, you know, we make a good compliment. And, um, you know, so I, I just emailed the customer back and let her know that I know that she's trying to hire him directly and that, you know, we're a united front. It's just like dealing with kids, right? You know, mom doesn't give you the answer you want, you go talk to dad and see if you get a different one. Well, when you when you are united, you get better outcomes. It, does, it doesn't always work out the way you want, i.e. she may just be uh, bent out of shape about it and go find some, and go with somebody else, even if they're just a little bit more expensive. But I think, uh, you know, I remain positive with her and like to do business with her and like to get an annual uh, recurring job set up which I'm almost about full on recurring jobs with the amount of time that I have for this. So um, it's, a, it's an unusual situation. It a, you know, was a complete mistake on my part showing her a low number. I should have never done it. I should have waited a year to see what the, you know, the place was going to look like now and then hit her with a fair number, which I believe she now has in hand. So we'll see if uh, you know, she gets a bad attitude or gets embarrassed about getting caught going to the con you know my contractor directly and uh hopefully it'll work out you know she's been fine to work with in the past and um you know i don't want to exclude anybody but i also can't really tolerate trying to work around me and can't tolerate uh, a business that doesn't make money so uh that's the uh, that's the story and uh you know if you're interested in this kind of information just hit the uh subscribe button and uh we'll keep pumping it out for you and help you grow your businesses